Tamsin Blight was born the year 1798, also known as Tammy Bleem. People just called her Tammy Bleem. She was born in 1798 in West Cornwall, England. She began practicing in 1830 in Redruth, and she practiced there for years. She gained, she gained, why did I say gained? She gained a, a good clientele in Redruth, and for whatever reason, ends up moving over to Houston, where she gains even larger clientele. So, according to like different things that I've read, rather it be books or different things online, it sounds to me like, um, like in the springtime, a large pilgrimage of people would show up in Houston seeking Tammy for her workings. And it was in spring because, and again, this is something that I read, it was in spring because the springtime is is known to be the time of the year when the sun is closest to the earth. And, you know, that, that's, that's energy right there. So former clients would go back to her with the charms that she gave them or created for them. And they would, they would want her to recharge them for the year. Um, other people would show up, like people would show up for different reasons. Farmers would show up because they had sick cattle that they wanted her to cure or heal. Women would show up um, because they sought divination. They wanted her to tell them when they would get married, who they would marry to, um, how long it would be until they got married. There were people who sought her for healing purposes, people who thought that they might have been cursed. They would seek her to lift these curses, while others would seek services from her in which she would hex people. She <clears throat> um, made a name for herself well before she got married to James Thomas. And that marriage took place in the year 1835. James Thomas was another conjurer, but this isn't going to be about him. This is going to be about Tammy. <laughs> so they end up being like this magical duo. And, and I hate using the word magical because I feel like it has too much of a Disney ring to it. But a, they, they end up being a conjuring duo. There we go. And they work together. Now, according to what I have read um that marriage doesn't last too long because james thomas ends up making a a sexual prompt to another man he comes on to another man in saint ives who turns around and um turns him into the authorities he reports him to the authorities and in order to avoid being arrested james thomas flees cornwall and I'm pretty sure other things would happen outside of being arrested. Maybe it was an issue with his life because we know back then <laughs> having the right to choose your own sexual orientation, your true sexual orientation was looked down upon back then. So maybe it was like a life or death type of thing. But James Thomas ends up fleeing Cornwall and Tammy after that, you know, from that point forward, becomes estranged to him. Now, Tammy Blee did use shamanic transes to help her with divination and in speaking with spirits. So she did this with hallucinogenics. Maybe some of you have heard about, I believe it's called flight oil. And that is what she used. Now, <clears throat> on the topic of speaking to the spirits... There is a very well-known story of Tammy raising the dead. This man comes to Tammy and he tells her about how, I believe it was in an aunt who passed away, who promised him an inheritance of cash. This woman passed away and she never told him where the cash was buried. So that's why he came to Tammy, because he wanted her to contact his aunt to find out where it was buried. So Tammy goes to work. She 
she casts a circle. She circles him three times with a staff. And she instructs him not to leave that circle because that circle was to protect him. So after that, with her staff, she points at the grave and she, in, in her Cornish tongue, she slowly and gradually, louder and louder, she recites an incantation, which consists of her at some point calling out to the four elements she says the woman's name at the end, and then there's a moment of silence that follows. After that eerie silence, um, they said that trees and rocks came crashing down. Just a lot of noise was happening out in the forest. And then they heard, like, very painful groans. Now, there are different variations of the story. There are stories that say that she physically crawled out of this grave wearing a red cloak. Others say that her spirit shows up and speaks to Tammy, and others say that, you know, I guess the spirit just speaks to Tammy, like in her brain. I guess she came to her and was telling her where this stuff was buried, but this ended up being a successful conjure, if you will. So plain and simple, Tammy Blee was born in 1798 in Cornwall, England. West Cornwall, England. She lived in Red Roof, moved to Helston, became famous, got married, got divorced shortly after, or estranged, and passed away in, where is it? Passed away in 1856. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part of the series. Um, this is part two to my study buddy series. I do have so far three other witches who I plan on making videos about. So hit like and subscribe and I will see you soon with another video.